Hi YouTube, Luminous Star here. Welcome to my channel, Luminous Star. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, welcome. And to my current subscribers, you know what's up. Mwah. Thank you so much for your subscription. Today, I want to talk about energy. All right. Now, to me, this has been a very important one, especially within the last, I say, two to three years. This particular topic energy has become very important to me because when dealing with narcissists this is why oftentimes we feel drained i know i did and again drained of energy right because this is something that everyone has is energy so narcissists tend to suck that up right at least this is what we hear some of us have actually felt that we have experienced this when dealing with narcissists so today I want to talk about energy and for me, it's been a huge topic, especially in the last, I'm going to say about three years. Okay. So fasten your seat belts. <laughs> and at the end of this video, if you're not a current subscriber, hopefully by the end of the video, you will become a new subscriber. So I'm going to go ahead and thank you in advance. Again, current subscribers, mwah, I'll give you another one. Thank you so much for your subscription and comments and suggestions even uh questions i welcome those and i've noticed some of your comments and i want to go ahead and take out the time right now for those of you who have left awesome comments thank you so much mwah, mwah. give you a double kiss all right guys i love the comments keep them coming if you have questions feel free to ask i will try my best to respond within 24 hours okay Guys, here we go. Energy. Now, I'm not going to give you a lesson on what energy is because I think most of you looking at this video, watching this video, you know what energy is. <laughs> okay? So, energy, just realize that your body, right? Your body not only needs fuel like water, food, sleep, sex, so on and so on, it needs energy. It functions and operates off of energy. And like I was saying, everybody has energy. Everybody has, you know, everybody embodies energy. So when we're dealing with narcissists, one of the reasons why, and this is what I think. Now, again, this is my opinion because I've dealt with narcissists, whereas after dealing with them and no matter how brief the encounter was, I felt drained right and i think most of us who have been dealing with narcissists that's watching this video you felt that at least one time after dealing with a narcissist you feel drained right i know i did but again when i have dealt with narcissists feeling drained feeling tired and you know sometimes just feeling a heaviness i felt those things and this is why is because energy I have energy. The narcissist has energy. Everybody has energy. So when we interact with others, that energy is affected. Absolutely. And the encounter can be positive. It can be loving. Still, you're going to be affected by that experience because you and I, we embody energy. Okay? So when the toxic relationships you know, are over with the narcissist and we tend to carry the residue of the toxic relationship with the narcissist. We tend to carry that residue. Why? Again, because we all have energy. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to sound like a broken record. I know, but I, I want you guys to really place emphasis on the word energy, right? That's why I keep on saying energy, because that's very important. Every time we interact with anyone, whether it's a narcissist or not, we're going to be affected by that encounter or that interaction because we all embody energy. So it is very important to learn how to release energy, especially the toxic energy that we all tend to accumulate after dealing with a narcissist. That's really what I want to talk about in this video. So after dealing with the narcissist, after the relationship is over, after the encounter has concluded or, or it's over, it's so important, guys, 
to learn about energy, how it functions as it pertains to the human body. And not only that, how do you release that toxic energy? I found several ways that is actually effective for me. And I'm probably going to do another video on that, but I'll share with you guys what one of those things are. Okay. Now it is very important. I think to learn not only what energy is all about and as it pertains to the human body, but how to release that toxic energy and how to retain the energy that absolutely works for you. Now we all have energy. So learning how to number one, release the toxic energy. Number two, how to retain the energy that yes, it actually does work for you. Now all energy, I'm going to say overall, it is very vital. It's important, it's vital, it's necessary. However, when we interact with people like narcissists, the energy, it, we are left feeling quite icky inside, you know, drained. So in this video, I just want to encourage you guys to learn more about energy as it pertains to the body. How does it function? How does energy function pertaining to the human body? Number two, learn how to retain and release energy, maintain the good energy. Well, some people may say the word good is not necessary to put in there in energy, but anyway, you guys get the idea learning how to release toxic energy, especially when you're dealing with a narcissist is very important because after every relationship we have, whether we are conscious to this or not, we retain the residue from that relationship, the residue, we, we retain it. And some of us are not even conscious to it, but this is why after a toxic relationship is over, it could be years later and you still feel quite upset about that. You know why? Because you still have the residue from that toxic, uh, energy of that relationship. You still have the energy, the toxicity from that toxic relationship. You are still holding on to it, even though it's five years later. And that is where again, energy comes in. So in this video, I just want to encourage you guys to learn more about energy as it pertains to the human body and also learning how to release toxic uh, energy after the relationship is over, after you have dealt with the narcissist. It is so important as part of your healing, as part of your thriving, as part of your moving forward. After the relationship with the narcissist is over, that toxic relationship is behind you now. But what you don't realize, some of you guys don't realize is you're still holding on to the toxicity. You're still holding on to the, the residue of that relationship because of energy. You're still holding on to that energy. So I want to encourage you to learn and research releasing toxic energy. Learn more about that. Research it. You know, I've read a couple of books on it, but I've actually learned how to do this for myself and it works. So I'm not always walking around carrying a, a heavy load or that toxicity from a relationship from the narcissist that happened 10 years ago. Right? One of the things that I do is that I take a long, hot or warm bath because water is vital. It is so necessary, not just for drinking, but think about it. Our bodies are comprised of mostly of water. So when you're sitting in that bath, right? A shower is okay but it's not going to be as effective as soaking in that bath because you're submerging in water. That's a very spiritual thing. It's a very energetic thing too, when you think about it. And I want you guys, if you would research about baths. Okay. Now I'm not saying it's just to cleanse your body because a lot of us, when we think about baths, that's what we think about just cleansing the body. But guys, what I have found is that this is one of the most excellent ways, right? For me to release toxic energy is by taking a bath. Sounds simple, but it's very effective. Okay. So just research taking baths. I know it might sound silly, <laughs> but research taking, taking baths, research energy, research how the energy, uh, functions pertaining to the human body and research. If you would 
how to release toxic energy and how important it is because we might be you know getting into something that a lot of us really are not accustomed to but when we're dealing with narcissists it is not just it is not enough that they have physically gone away because there's energy right there's energy that's left over so we need to get rid of that too right yeah so one of the most effective ways that I have found is soaking in a warm, hot bath and releasing those toxins. Releasing the toxins, not just from my body, physically, but spiritually, energetically, when it comes to toxic relationships. And you may call it a ritual if you like, but this is one of the things that has very much worked for me. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it wasn't, you know, too confusing or, or you know, freaky for you, but <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about energy because this is something that a lot of people are talking about today. They're becoming more open uh, about that, discuss that, that discussion, having that discussion, because this is something that a lot of us are subconsciously, and again, let me put it like this, this is something that we're not aware of right? We're not aware of how important energy actually is, especially when it comes to toxic relationships with narcissists. It is vital to remove those toxic energies or remove that toxicity from your life, okay? It's, it's not enough for the narcissist to be physically out of your life. That's not enough. You have to realize that the residue from interacting with narcissists is still lingering in your life. And subconsciously, you're still holding on to it. So it's very important to release that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, take care of yourself. Mwah.